Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I am back today. I got another collection. I went in my, with my friend, Polly Pax, who's right here. Hey. Paul, Polly Pax. Uh, so go over and check out his YouTube channel if you get the chance. Um, for 40 bucks, we got a bunch of trashed cards, really, <laughs> and, and a $10 Don Zimmer that I think is probably not $10, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's not 10 bucks. But, um, you know, we don't know what's in here. My guess is we've got about six, 7,000 cards, maybe. We did see already a, what is this, 1989 Topps Big Sean Dunstan. So you know I'm pulling that out for my personal collection, and I don't have this one yet, so I'm stoked about that. I don't know that that's worth uh, 40 <laughs> bucks, but it's worth something to me. So um, we are blessed with World Series trivia lenticulars from Score that are all very bent, so we'll throw those away. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, I'm going to be a little out of my depth here because we've got some newer cards, like these are 19, uh, 2009 Topps Heritage things, so we'll take a look at those. Um, but we also have some old stuff, like these are a couple of 1968 cards, like legit, vintage, terribly miscut, um, and in bad shape, but interesting to look at nonetheless. So excited to scroll through these and see what we can find, some more, uh, I think we had a Baked McBride, yeah, there's a Baked McBride, which we already talked about him. Um, so we're going to go through these, and there's this whole box that says 50 cents a piece, which I don't know who would pay 50 cents for. You're getting hosed if you're for, for, for these kind of bent <laughs> cards here. Um, so again, we got this box here, plus this Reebok Kids Pump shoe box full of things like Danny Darwin that you just have to have. And those are the small boxes. We got this big 5,000 count box full of God knows what um, here. So let's just pick a few things. Monty Ferris. Oh, here's a number one draft pick. You can't mess with that. Gold cards. <laughs> see, they're easy to find. Yeah. Um, these are stuck together. But um, yeah, so my guess is that we're gonna find a, a ton of trashed cards. Maybe we won't be able to get our money back. If we can find a few interesting things out of here, there's Ken Caminiti and uh, Edgar Martinez. Here you go. Yeah, Bernie Williams, there you go. All right, as long as we can get a couple of them Paul back. Yankees. This is, I mean, this isn't going to cut it, but. No. Got some good firewood for that, uh, yeah. fire starters. Um, oh, look, there's a Donruss, 1990 Donruss Baseball's Best Kirby Bucket. Uh, this is definitely like, was in a nine count <laughs> sleeve that someone cut up. Why would you go to that trouble? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't understand that. You just didn't want to splurge for the for the sleeves to the penny sleeves, because <laughs> that penny was just too much. I guess there's George Brett. Um, again, all these are bent though. So Barry Bonds, Jeff Reardon, Jeff Reardon, not quite his rookie. Yeah. Andre Dawson when he was with the Red Sox there. Oh yeah, right in right mm -hmm. the end. That's a good, that's a good one. Well, you, you gotta have the Stan Belinda rookie. Um, $15 one. Yeah. I like I'm hoping the fact that's, I hope that's sense. It's right? gotta be sense. <laughs> it's it's Vigio, Jeff Juden, Lou Pinella. A bunch of these stuck together here. Wait, so you can have Lou Pinella and Bucky Dent right next to each other <laughs> for you Yankees fans like Paul. I have no idea what order these are in because I just it just seems like they're just random. There's a Ricky Henderson big card. They are yeah, very, very random. random. And, and all over the place in terms of years. So I mean, I I'm I'm feeling like this won't be as good as the last collection we bought, the last score we, we made. Um, all right. go check out uh, on Paul's channel, Polly Packs. We did break down it as Wade Boggs. Uh, a collection that we bought for 60 bucks that really did turn return some some cool stuff in it um yeah there's just a lot this, of weird. these might be so far the best ones we've seen this is uh that's from the 93 leaf frank thomas uh, insert series yes yeah, so that's good there and then you got the other base card there for frank thomas so. too so that might be those are a few bucks each yeah right? are we with anything in this shoe box that are nope i'm um, the paul gibson rookie <laughs> fergie jenkins Oh, yeah. I think I told you before, he played uh, for the Iowa Oaks, or 
Fergie James, didn't he? He had the cocaine problem, maybe. I thought it was Vita Blue. That was Vita Blue. I get those guys I'm mixed not, up all the time. Sorry, Fergie. <laughs> don't want to give you guys. Don't smudge his great name. <laughs> <laughs> so here are some that are jammed in there that are in cases. So we got Ryan Turner, which I don't think matters. Mm -hmm. um, Star, Star Trek The Next Generation. All right, that was Holiday. the oddball set. Huh? And this one does say $10 very clearly. Yeah. Um, I don't think it worked, though. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have it. That's why we have this one. Um, I do hate the shiny names where I can't read them. So Barry we do Larkin. have the Julio Franco rookie card again. So we just got that in the other set, so... So now we got doubles. Now we're, now we're doubling up. You go from never having Julio Franco rookie yeah. in your whole life to having two of them instantly. That's a, it's an amazing feat. Yeah, the John Farrell rookie card. Uh, wait, yeah. what's that? Dennis Eckersley. Keith Hernandez. Oh, here we go. John Henry Johnson. I don't know why that name <laughs> is funny to me. It just is. It's like a, it's like a folk song. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we got the Ryan Sandberg there, so that's good. Not that as was, good as the one we pulled fresh from the pack the other day. That was the our, one that won it for me. But here, I'll outdo your John Henry Johnson with <laughs> the John with the fro going. Look at that. And the $10 version, Look too. Look at that. Much better. So here's Jack Morris, Hall of Famer, that apparently is my favorite player today. Yeah, to keep sure. pulling him out. Here's Dwight Gooden. Uh, who's this? Terry Steinbeck, no one cares. Kevin Mitchell. So on the Mets. I did pull a Kevin Mitchell um, 1986 tops traded out. That was fun. Nice. Ricky Henderson, Steve Carlton, Robin Young. So there are some good cards in here. I mean, good players, I should say. Yeah, <laughs> Even yeah. If they're so not good far cards. It's between good cards. But... Paul Molitor, 1986 Donruss. Danny Tartable, rated rookie here. Actually, that's not so bad. That one's pretty good. Yeah. Vince pa Coleman, Paul rookie. Yeah, that's a rookie card for him, for sure. All right, here we go. Robin Young. I think this is what, 82? 81. Tops. 81. 81 tops. Yeah. All oh, right, you're right. So, all right, some diamonds in the rough here. I mean, not not anything we're going to make all our money back in one card, but, you know, so here we go. This is your Drake's Cakes. Yeah, I've like not 82. seen these. Uh, these are Drake's Cakes uh, tops cards that I've not seen before. And is this oh, not quite Kirk Gibson's rookie, but 82 Donos there. So, just no such an interesting, like there's no rhyme or reason to how these are in here. Someone clearly just threw them in. Like, this is a baseball card. Hey, this is a baseball card too. Let's throw that in there. Lots of manager cards so far. And all these glossy ones are just sticking something terrible. Oh, Thompson looking very, very blue steel in his <laughs> 1986 Donruss card there. Yeah, so no one, I just, I just went through it. Ton of manager cards. So I'm not exactly sure what the what the point of that was. <laughs> the point was we've got some managers. <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be cool if we just collected all the managers? Somebody must want them, right? I actually did write a letter when I was a kid to Sparky Anderson asking for his autograph on a on a tops card, and he sent it back to me. Nice. So good guy. There's David Cohn. Look, Fleer Award winner. Not a regular award winner, a FLIR award winner, which is every baseball player yeah. is really after. When you don't win the real award, you get the FLIR award. <laughs> you want the FLIR award. Let's see what else is in here. Jay Darwin. This shoebox one, this the Reebok shoebox uh, one seems to pull more of the, the good ones. Lynn McGlothen. That is a baseball player. To Lynn McGlothen. <clears throat> in, in true fashion, you know, usually it's like, whatever happened to that guy? I never heard of Lynn McGlothen, but I want to know more about him. Here we go. George Brett. That's the, that's the uh, Donruss Baseball's team. Best. The Baseball's Best? Is that baseball's is? Best from 1990. All right. I'm going to look up Lynn McGlothen and see what we can learn about him. Here he is. Died in 1984, so actually not too long after these cards. So died a young yeah. man. Um, played through 82. Was the uh, 74 All-Star when he was on the Cardinals. 
Um, 86 and 93 win loss, 398 ERA, 939 strikeouts, played for a handful of teams. Again, was an all star in 74. 11 season career. Was killed at age 34 in a mobile home fire Ugh. in Dubok, Louisiana. So clearly did not become a rich man playing baseball, yeah. even though he played for 11 seasons. Honestly, it's just a, it, it's a testament to how different the game was and is, was than it is now. Right. Um, like I said, I'm reading that Ron Darling baseball book, 108 Stitches. And, um, you know, hearing the stories of those old guys and how the, the game treated them and how they played, it's like night and day compared to the millionaires oh. that they're minting now, you know? Yeah, some of those guys definitely played in the wrong era, that's for sure. See what we got here. I wasn't finding anybody to, to share, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> and there was some kind of indication from the people I bought this from that it may have been picked through a good bed. Oh, here's some old ones. Wilbur Wood Wilbur. wearing a homemade uniform for the, nice. <laughs> for the, for the Chicago White Sox. Um, there's a Fernando Valenzuela. Is that a rookie card? No, um, 81. Oh, rookies, yes. So one year, year off. You got a Gaylord Perry. Yeah. The 82 Donna. He's clearly hiding some Vaseline behind his ear. Right. Um, and another one looking very, hey, I'm tired. I'm old. I'm tired. Why am I still here? I don't even hit, but I'm holding a bat. <laughs> Dick Williams. Oh, Mike Scott. Not a rookie, though, I don't think. It's, it's an 81 Donruss. Something. This is not a normal 81 Don Russell, is it? Is this? Uh, it looks like it. But... First edition collector series. Oh, maybe. There's something interesting about that, I gotta say. Um, we'll see what that one's all about. Alan Ripley, Rich, Rich Gale. Ring a bell? No. Nope. Jack nope. Clark. Lynn McGlothin, again. Ozzy, look at this. Ozzy Smith, 1981. Not in too bad shape either. That's just a few years off his rookie. Dave Winfield, 1980. No, no, 1978. Dave Winfield there on the on the Padres. That's a good so one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then you want to make sure you put this one in the sleeve, the Vincent Palacios, 88 score. Rookie card. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a Frank Thomas uh, with another Frank Thomas in the back. So we're off a couple Frank Thomases there. So if we can keep those from being too bent, then I think we'll be in good shape. A bunch of eight, 91 tops. None of these 91 tops look like they're in any usable condition. But, uh, yeah, so I think we're gonna get a bunch of, of uh, kindling for the fire because we get a lot of them that are just looking like this, little bowed. Um, yeah, but these are all these are all stars though. I mean, Paul Molitor, Carlson Fisk. It's just some of them are just in tough shape. Though. They are definitely in rough shape. This is a pretty cool. Yadier, Yadier Molina, I can't say his name, but there you go. A little heritage card. Yeah. It's just a, such a shame when they're all messed up. But it, it plays to your theory, though, that if we could just buy five million of the same card <laughs> and burn all but one of them, That's right. that one would be worth something. <laughs> But the agony of defeat, the doomsday of Superman. But that's not even Superman. I don't even know who that bullheaded guy is. It's like He Man. <laughs> yeah, he's getting. <laughs> Opichi Premier Lee Smith. Yeah, ninety-two. That's uh oh, uh oh. Who stuck to the back of him? Something good. Will, something important. Will it? Oh, it's gonna be at ruin. Is it? Really, Al Later? No, it's the error oh! card, Al Later, but... Oh. Look at that. It was the error card, but it is totally stuck it's to the back of it. Fried. Not Al Later. While we're looking for error cards, I do I did find a good section of 1989 Fleer. So you know what I'm looking for here. There's Dan Dave so, Winfield. If, that's, if that is still there, <laughs> that would be impressive. Wade Boggs, Andre Dawson. Let's get some good players in here. Strawberry. Down. I'm telling you right now, if I find it, it's yours. Oh uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put it up there. We gotta get our money back at least a little <laughs> bit, right? Doug, oh, Doug Jones, who just recently passed away. Can we find it? 
if you don't know what we're looking for, then you don't know. Um, you know there's Mark Grace. I'll take that one for myself. That one's not getting our money back, but I'm taking that one. Joe Carter, Greg Jeffries, Rob Dibble, and puzzle pieces. Who, who's the guy who likes puzzle pieces? Oh, Cash? Uh, Dash, Dash and... Cash and, and Dad uh, want the so puzzle there you pieces. Go. I, have, I have awesome. thrown away so many puzzle I pieces did, in the last I year. I told him that too. I was like, oh man, I wish you knew earlier. Because this again, let's talk about kindling. That's a good way to start the <laughs> That's fire. That's the number one. Um, so what we were looking for there was the Billy Ripken. That we did not find the FF error. Honestly, I just like to pull any of those 89 clear Billy Ripkins <laughs> out, even whether they're the, the error or not. Um, the black box is the most common, obviously. But, all right, well, I guess we'll just cut this one for now. We got a lot of cards, like I said, probably six or seven thousand to just get. Oh, two sacks. <laughs> he just retired this year. Um, we will catch you later with some more of these things, either on my channel or on Polypax. So head over to Polypax account and make sure you check him out if you haven't already. But until then, we will see you next time.